You really are. And I want you to know how fabulous you are. There are so few engineers in this country, and there are so few female engineers. And not only are you engineers, you're also leaders. So you are wonderful, and I mean, I had a good Baptist upbringing, and you were taught never to say anything wonderful about yourself, or both alike, and will come down and kill you, okay? okay? So, well, we, we know that was crazy. I want you to know, really, you are amazing, and I want you to stay amazing. So the first thing I have is a call to action. I want you to be so focused and on um, staying great and creating greatness around you. And I love the way Sue supports each other. You ladies, you, you make me so proud when I see how you work together and you encourage each other. And it's just a, a wonderful organization and the kind of things you do in the community. So that greatness, keep focus on that greatness for yourself and for those around you. And the second thing, now once you make that commitment to greatness, and I'm sure you will, you, will, you already are great, but continue to be great, you will be challenged. Okay? Now, and this, I love this, we're here together in the wonderful warmness of the arms of SWE UCF, and it's great, and you need this. You need this on a regular basis. But we all will leave and go out and face a world where we work in as engineers, and if you're a woman, you will probably be one of very few. And as a female engineer, you will have challenges that I, I'll put them in three categories. I call them, you, excuse me, darling. Call them your cultural challenges, organizational challenges, and then the individual challenges. From a cultural standpoint, that has to do with the, obviously, the environment that we're in. Here in the United States, I am so patriotic. I love my country. I always say my dad was a drill sergeant. I really didn't have much choice but being patriotic. But we have many biases that exist in this country when it comes to women in their careers, and particularly in STEM careers. So you're going to face some of that, and I want you to be mindful of it. It's not like you need to sit around and make excuses and, and say, I can't do it because of that bias exists. No, that's not at all what I'm, what I'm suggesting. But if you're mindful of it, it will help you to be prepared and understand how to handle situations that arise. And of course, we live in a global society, so I am fully expecting you ladies to work internationally, okay? And especially our sweet baby, okay? <laughs> so you will need to have global experiences. And I want you to think about when you go to these different places and different cultures, how, it, how you're going to be viewed, because it does need to be thought about. And once again, I'm not saying ladies will sit around and Cry, cry in our Kool-Aid and how bad it is to be a woman engineer, please don't, don't hear that message. What I want is for you to be prepared because for you to continue to rise to the, to the greatness and the level that you're fully capable of rising to, you need to understand what's going on around you and govern yourself accordingly. So that's the cultural. Next is the organizational. You need to think about where you're working. If you work in a company and you've never seen any females promoted in that environment, and that environment is, is in many ways harsh toward women, you need to be mindful of that and, and think about how is this going to impact my career. On the other hand, if you're in an environment where you do see that there's opportunity for you to grow, then that obviously can be good for your career. But oftentimes, all we focus on is our little piece of work and what we're doing. And to, to grow and to be the leaders that you should be, you, we've got to be thinking more broadly, ladies. So I want you thinking about your organization. I want you to select organizations that will be good for you. And think about what you want in life, because we want a lot. We want to have a great career, we want families, we want vacations, we want to change the world, we want to we'll go take and saw wind turbines in Africa. So I'm proud of Kelly. So, and, and you can do this, but I don't want you to get frustrated when the challenges come. So again, thinking about that, the organizational challenges and then the individual challenges. These are the ones that really derail us oftentimes as women. We start to sell, have self-doubt. Okay. We get insecure when we're in these environments. If a problem happens, we think, okay, this maybe means I can't be an engineer because I, or I can't be successful here. When really that problem may just be part of the process of getting to a success in this environment. So please don't ever let problems or challenges or difficulties get you the, to the point where you think you can't be successful. Now, what we need to do is figure out the, the source of the problem, how I'm supposed to handle this problem, and then move forward. The next thing, ladies, is we take things personally. And a lot of times in the workplace when things happen, it's not you, it's not personal. Some of these people are just crazy. <laughs> they are. And don't own their issues. Don't you go home and cry 
your pretty self to sleep over their craziness. Now, what you do, you have yourself a good support system. Okay, so the, those are challenges. And then oftentimes, we don't see mentors or role models. Now, as Liza said, I'll be 50 this year. And again, I would love to have Sweet with me at some of those 50, day, uh, 50 days of giving events. But years ago, we didn't have the opportunity to have as many mentors and role models that look like us. Now, I've had some wonderful mentors and role models who are me. And so, gentlemen, we need you. We need you here working with us and supporting us. So yes, you can have male role, role models. But back then, that's really all, all we had. There were one or two women. But that's not the case today, ladies. Okay. You have me, for one, and Maria will tell you she will chase me down, and we had coffee, and we talked about how she's going to take over the world. Okay. <laughs> but even when you get out there on your own, or it feels like you're on your own, honey, you're not. Reach out to other people, other women. I mean, you, you, we live in a global society, so you should never have a time in your life when you don't have a, a role model that someone who you see is doing the kind of things that you want to do, who is female, she may be three countries away, they're three continents away, okay? And then have your mentors. So now this, and we've talked about the call to action, you're called to be great because you were meant to be great and you are great. We've talked about the challenges you're going to face and now let's talk about the process to get there. Very quickly, vision. You've got vision. You wouldn't be here today if you had vision. But keep the vision strong. I used to say when I was getting my bachelor's degree, I, I, I previously didn't know I was going to end up with a PhD. I said I'm going to get a, a BS, MBA, buy a BMW, and be through. Okay? <laughs> that was my plan. I didn't think I needed to have any vision beyond that. But it's, that's what I learned quickly. You always need a vision for your career. Always. And we, a lot of times, we don't think that we need to do that, but honey, you have to be in charge of your career and working on it. And it doesn't have to keep you up at night, but have that plan. What you want to do in, the, in five years, then what you want to do in 10 years, what kind of relationships you have around you. So you've got to have that vision and that plan. The next thing, uh, the second thing actually is the plan. So create that plan, write it down. It's not hard. If you want to have a family, then you need to write down, okay, how am I going to have a family? You need to think about your money, because you want to still live well if you have to not work for a while. So write all of this down and it makes life so much easier because then you're not just walking around saying, I'm 28 years old, all my friends have husbands and babies, I hate my job, I don't know what's going to happen. No. <laughs> you know, and you know we do that. We do that. You know, you have a meltdown. Give yourself five minutes to have a meltdown. Get up. Get back to work. Okay? <laughs> Seriously. The third thing is you have have good association, ladies. This, as I said, the warm, uh, uh, oh, the sweet UCF arms. We need these environments in order to go out and be great in the world. So always have good association. Have a good support system. That includes your mentors. That includes your your good friends, your girlfriends. And I, I have, as I said, wonderful mentors. But then I have my girlfriends who well, I can get together with them and I can say stuff I wouldn't say in front of my mentors. Okay? Because sometimes you just got to cut loose about the crazy people you have to work with. Okay? And you can't do it with them because you will lose your job. Okay? So you need to be able to get away. Then with your girls or your guy friends, okay, and or your, your spouse, your, your love partner, whomever. And then after you get that out, because we're not gonna spend too much time on it, because we need to get back to solution. Okay, so you see the theme here? We we deal with things, but we keep moving forward. We have challenges, but we keep moving forward. The greatness in you, I've seen so many great people that never realized their potential because they didn't understand these simple principles. Deal with the issue and move forward. Don't own other people's issues. And guess what? You're not perfect, but you're still wonderful. Don't expect yourself to be perfect. Let me say that to you. High achieving, amazing women, beautiful women, one more time. Stop expecting yourself to be perfect. It's okay if you don't know everything. It's okay if you can't figure out the answer to every problem. It's okay if you make some mistakes. It's okay. You're still fabulous. And in the words of Mary J. Blige, I say the prophet Mary J. Blige, it's okay to show yourself some love. You're wonderful. You're fabulous. So don't, don't fall in that perfection trap. Be great. Be your best. 
but don't let this whole mindset, I need to be perfect and I didn't do this and so I can't do this. No, let it go. And then believe, ladies and gentlemen. Believe, even when it doesn't make sense, even when you've made mistakes, believe that you can accomplish the greatest ambitions you have. Because when you believe like that, that gives you the fuel to keep going. That gives you the energy when people doubt you, when people put you down. And, you, and again, you got that support system, but keep believing. The most successful people in the world have failed the most. Did you hear me say that? The most successful people in the world have failed the most. And we have a misconception or misperception of success. We think Leah just woke up beautiful and successful and she didn't have to do anything. She, she has to do a lot. I mean, you're beautiful, darling. Not like you have your life to be beautiful. <laughs> but we see a successful person and we think that they, oh, they must have had a charmed life. Because oftentimes people who are successful, we don't want you to know how hard it was when you struggle. Baby, I'm here to tell you, it's work. But it's worth it. It's your dream. It's your vision. It takes work, but it's so well worth it. And we need you. We need you being your best. We need you succeeding. We need you knowing what a difference you can and are already making to Sweet, to Orlando, to the nation, and globally. So remember this. Accept the call to action. Remember, the challenges are going to come. It's just part of the process. It doesn't at all mean that you're on the wrong track. In fact, in most cases, it means you're right where you need to be. You're on track when certain challenges come your way. And then use these things I said to stay strong. Keep the vision. Keep believing in yourself and keep making that difference. Because I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, we need you. So enjoy your summer. I look forward to seeing you all in the fall. And thank you for being such a fabulous group of men and women to be an advisor to.